What up? Had the worst argument with someone yesterday. You know, it's no reason to argue, first off. If you know you're right and you really know you're right, you don't need to argue. You don't need to make a fight about it. But sometimes it's fun having a little argument, especially with people who really think they're smart and uh, they just want to be heard, which I understand. Everyone wants to be heard nowadays and everyone deserves to be heard because everyone should have the right to say how they feel. But I think it's more fun when you let someone talk and you know they're just an idiot. Like I had someone that was probably the size of probably a little small version of a mountain. If a person could be a mountain, but not like the mountain, like the guy from Game of Thrones is all jacked and you're like, I'd like to be that guy all jacked. It was more like a mountain of just like fat and like loudness and just anger and she was just saying working out doesn't make you feel better it's a lie there is no endorphins that get launched you're not gonna feel like a better person if you get your sweat on you feel like a better person if you just bitch and complain like i do and i let her bitch and complain about everything under the sun for about 20 minutes but then when you're stuck with someone at a table and you got to hear them like eat and then you got to hear them bitch and complain and then they're like nothing will make my life better and then you're just like yeah you know we'll make your life better a little bit or actually a lot of bit and then you won't be bitching and complaining and you won't be fat anymore and you'll feel better about life some sweating some working out some going for a walk and i didn't tell her i didn't tell her to go run a marathon i didn't tell her to go on a diet i didn't tell her to stop eating that cheeseburger and fries she was eating all i said was like give it a try Go outside when it's sunny out. It's cold right now, but go outside when the sun comes out. And you go outside too, and you say, hi, son. And you put on some boots, put on a jacket, put on your little winter hat and your gloves so you don't get freezed, okay? And go for a walk, and you're going to see how you feel better. Like, she went to the bathroom. I'm like, did you feel better? Now that she went to the bathroom, she's like, oh, yeah, I had to pee so bad. Your body's probably saying, you need to lose weight so bad. You're like 500 pounds, and you need to make your life better. So why don't you make your life better and understand that once you start working out a little bit and you lose a little bit of that extra tonnage you're carrying around, because your body frame, she was probably like 5'3", five, 5'2". Five, She's supposed to be a little baddie, man, like a 130-pounder, you know, lightweight UFC champion, Ronda Rousey, Misha Tate type person, you know, or that new Brazilian girl is going to beat Ra Ra Raquel Pennington this weekend. Yes, I said it. But anyway, yeah, I'm telling you, not just this girl, but everyone. If you go out there and you start working out, I know some people have never worked out in their whole life. They're like virgins, all right? Virgins to working out. So go pop that cherry, go get your sweat on, and maybe change the diet up a little bit. Cut out all the sugar and all the crap that makes you feel like, eh. The only thing that makes you feel good is here in the mouth, on the tongue. It's mouth porn. You don't need that. So do yourself a favor. Go get your sweat on. Get your workout on. Change your life a little bit. And really watch your life change, okay? You change yourself a little bit and your life will change. And you'll be like, wow, working out is good for you. It makes you feel better. Yes, it does.